Hello, my name is Frank. Welcome back to my channel. It is a pleasure to have you here. I hope you guys are doing well. And I think that might be our new intro. Uh, we're taking that from our girlfriend, Victoria. Hello, hope you are well and welcome to my channel. My name is Victoria. It's a pleasure to have you here with me. But I'm sure she won't mind. So I'm going to take you guys through what I've been eating to feel better. And this has taken basically since February of 2018 for me to figure out, you know, what diet can heal the problems caused by carnivore, liver dysfunction, iron overload, histamine. This will give you guys an idea of what I'm doing. Uh, so we'll try to do two meals. I'll see how I feel. It's pretty late. My day has been off. I had to visit a couple farms. Uh, so this first meal, I might eat a little more than I usually do, uh, but the principles are the same. Uh, we're trying to remove as much inflammation as possible. Uh, we are consuming some probiotics as well as some digestive enzymes and some antimicrobials uh, just to, to make sure that our gut stays consistent throughout these meals. And it's basically lean protein plus starch. Uh, so let me just show you guys what I have behind me. So there's three components to this meal. First is the smoothie that I'm using to deliver some vitamin C, some probiotics. The second is the main caloric component where I'm getting a lot of my protein from ribeye steak as well as a starch. I have some rice here and some pasta. And then the third component is going to be a snack like cookies or like the chewy granola bars just because for some reason I can't get enough calories with more natural foods. And I'll just show you guys a couple things I have here. So I do have a fresh pineapple left over in the fridge that I'm gonna to use to make the smoothie. Sometimes I use pineapple chunks. Uh, it's mainly to deliver the lemons and the probiotics and you know I also add some vanilla and some nature's glucose uh, this is to feed the probiotics you know it's pure glucose vanilla is a little flavor uh, so don't think of like the pineapple and the vanilla component as something for health necessarily it's just to get the vitamin C from the lemons as well as the probiotics from this supplement uh, which I don't really want to talk about you know it's taken me a while to develop my knowledge of specific strains of probiotics and what you should be consuming uh, to fix certain gut issues. Uh, these are the organic ribeye steaks that we currently have on Frankie's Free Range Meat. Uh, these are just kind of convenient for me, honestly. Uh, the regular ribeye tastes a little better, but uh, I'm just trying to go through these. I have some Indian long grain brown basmati rice. Uh, it's actually right here. Uh, the week before I was using just uh, regular white basmati rice. And this is actually the first two weeks I've been consuming rice in general. Uh, before that, it was mostly uh, pasta as well as white potatoes. But for some reason, I started craving rice this week. And the rice I made with an organic broth. You guys aren't going to see me make the rice today because I already did it yesterday and I have some left over. But it's just really simple. Follow the instructions on the bag, except I used beef broth instead of water. This is left over from two days ago. I'm not sure if I'm going to eat it. While I cut the lemons for the smoothie, I'm going to turn my pan on high heat to prep it for the steaks. And I don't juice these. What I do is I, I cut the skin off and I just throw them in the blender hole and then we'll strain it out. So we could put the frozen pineapple back in the freezer because I have the fresh one today. So in the blender goes pineapple, two whole lemons. I have my bottled spring water here. I try not to add too much water because I don't want to dilute my stomach acid that much before the meal. Uh, that being said, this does get hard to strain if it's really thick. And I'm adding half a bottle of probiotics. I'll do about a teaspoon of vanilla powder. And the frozen pineapple is a little more enjoyable. It makes it more like a, almost like ice cream dessert smoothie. So then I'll take the nature's glucose. I usually do a, a big tablespoon or two. So two big tablespoons of that. And if you guys aren't familiar with uh, the nature's glucose we have on Frankie's Free Range Foods, it's basically 75% glucose as opposed to the regular 35% glucose in honey. And, and people that do have issues with honey, like they get gout or they have liver problems, they've been able to tolerate the nature's glucose. Blend it up. So I try to go about 20, 25 seconds because if you go too long, it starts oxidizing everything. And if you don't go long enough, it's hard to strain everything out. So then I'll take that smoothie and I'll put it in a strainer over a bowl. And the reason I strain this is mainly for texture because it kind of grosses me out. So I'll strain it and then we'll try to push everything through. So not only is this for the probiotics and the vitamin C, 
if I'm also taking the digestive enzymes, the antimicrobials, and other powder supplements or pill supplements, this really helps to wash that down. Uh, so if you, you don't wanna do this, you could do like raw milk with honey or vanilla. You could keep it kind of carnivore. Pan smoking hot, ready for the steaks. So I'll just take these out. Salt on both sides with black pepper. So same thing other side. And if you pat your steak dry, you'll get a better sear, but I don't like touching it with paper towels or rags that might've had some type of chemicals or disinfectant on them. So now we'll go in the pan. I'll just cover that so I don't set off my smoke alarm. So while that steak's cooking, I'll strain this out a bit. And you basically just have to move it around with the spoon until it all goes through. I think these are actually burning, it's really hot. All right, we'll actually turn the heat off here. They should be fine, another minute they'll be done. And we wanna get as much of this through here as possible so that we make sure we get all the probiotic powder and vitamin C from the lemons. So that's pretty much good. You know, if you wanna spend another few minutes doing this, you can, but most of it's already through. Scrape off the bottom. And then what I'll do in that pan that I cook the steaks in, I'll put a little bit of broth. And then I'll warm up my starch in there. So today it's the rice. I mean, some of this isn't ideal. You know, we have store-bought broth. You know, this pan could be carbon steel. But I'm trying to work with what I have right now until I can get my own place. So yeah, the diet's been consistently basically lean meat and starch for a couple months now. And I'll, I will have those those snacks afterwards, which I will show you guys. Uh, one other thing I actually tried uh, the past few days is I got some like organic Italian beans and I've tried having, you know, some beans with the rice, just a nice flavor switch up, different mineral profile. But as long as it's an organic grain and you feel good eating it, it should be fine. So before I sit down to eat, I will have uh, some of this smoothie uh, with the digestive enzymes. It's like a vanilla pineapple dessert. Almost tastes like some type of ice cream or sorbet. Now, so this kind of kills two birds with one stone. I get my probiotics and I get my vitamin C. What I could do alternatively is, you know, have some sauerkraut as well as, you know, juice the organic lemon separately. You know, some people say sauerkraut has vitamin C, but I've definitely noticed a difference between sauerkraut versus consuming lemons. Uh, so let's sit down, let's have the steak and rice and, uh, and then we'll do the rest of the meal. So this is a little too much food. Uh, I'm probably gonna eat maybe one and a half steaks and maybe half of this rice. I'll just save the leftovers for the next meal. Uh, what usually ends up happening is I have to cook up a little more steak. I mean, I overcook this a little bit. I usually like it blue rare, but since it's a ribeye, it's tender. So just to understand the nutritional components of this meal a little better, uh, with that shake, we had you know some glucose, some fructose, small amount of minerals, but you know, mostly the probiotics, the vitamin C. Here with the steak, we have protein, minerals, and the most important thing here is, is the protein and the B vitamins because you know, the reason people are usually demonizing starches or sugars or desserts is because the person doesn't have enough protein in their diet. You know, if someone eats two pounds of ribeye steak per day and then has some ice cream, doesn't matter. Problem is, if the person's eating cookies, cake, and ice cream and not getting any animal protein. And just with these two foods like steak and brown rice, you're getting plenty of B vitamins, plenty of minerals, really checking the boxes for most of the things our body needs. And when you look at starch from uh, a carbohydrate profile perspective, it is mostly the starches that need to be broken down into glucose. And then there's usually a small amount of glucose, fructose, and sometimes sucrose, depending on the carbohydrate source. But you know, compared to fruit, compared to honey, compared to a lot of other uh, carbohydrate sources that people prefer, it's actually lower in fructose, it's less stressful on the liver, it feeds the gut bacteria, and the, the whole grain versus white, you know, like brown rice versus white rice, the, 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 all that type of stuff. We could have that discussion in another video. But generally speaking, when people say white rice is better, they're just parroting information they heard from someone else 
without actually understanding the nutritional profile of the food. From a natural, realistic dietary perspective, these are two foods you can procure in nature. You know, you cannot get six, seven, eight hundred calories from fruit. It's just not practical and it cannot be harvested. Grain and animal products has been the base of the majority of diets for at least several thousand years. What determines if one group of people is healthier than another is the percentage of the animal foods versus the plant foods, as well as if high animal food consumption was present during developmental stages of life. And if you guys haven't read my book, The Ancestral Indigenous Diet, it's definitely worth checking out. You know, it helps you understand having a base of these nutrient dense animal foods, but hopefully in the next year or two, I can write a second book that kind of encapsulates some of the health issues I dealt with and uh, what I believe is the root cause of that problem. I'm actually kind of full, so let's put this aside. We ate maybe, you know, 40 to 50% of the rice and um, just under one of the steaks. Now, usually when I have the sauerkraut, I do end up getting hungry at the end of the meal and I do want some like cookies or a snack or something. But, you know, that one or two times a week I do this smoothie, uh, I don't really feel the need to have that. And that wasn't exactly a low calorie smoothie. It was basically like 500 calories of pure glucose, which will definitely satiate your appetite. So let's get some uh, chubby Italian boy food. Keep in mind guys, if I wasn't bodybuilding, I wouldn't be eating this stuff. But from a digestive perspective, you know, my intestines and stomach are really tiny. You know, I have a small body frame. So literally, you know, if I have a second meal, when I go to the bathroom, that first meal is coming out. Whereas normally people say, oh, well, you know, you, your body digests food for two or three days. For me, it's basically just one day because, you know, I, I shouldn't be bodybuilding. It's not natural. My, my real body weight should probably be around 125, 130 pounds, maybe even less than that. And I weigh like 160 right now. Uh, so having these snack foods is necessary because they're sugary, high in fat, and really, really calorically dense. Uh, so most of the time I've had some type of chocolate chip cookie and I usually make it myself. I don't usually buy this stuff. This is just some stuff for my family. Uh, so I'll make it with uh, wheat flour, uh, some nature's glucose, salt, vanilla, coconut milk, coconut oil as the fat. And the reason you guys have been seeing me use a lot of coconut is because it's antimicrobial, it's antifungal as opposed to animal fat. Sometimes when you combine them with sugar, if you have a gut problem, uh, sometimes the coconut prevents that. Uh, I haven't done this lately, but I was doing some s'mores. Uh, so I have some organic graham crackers I found online. My dad's been eating them now because I haven't had them in a couple months. Uh, just some chocolate. Usually I get the organic chocolate from Whole Foods, just regular dark chocolate with sugar. And there was this like organic uh, type of marshmallow fluff that I was using. But I only did that like once or twice. It's just a cute little idea you guys can do if you want to try it. And this is also something I've only done a couple times. I'll take some like coconut milk, I'll blend it up with some vanilla and nature's glucose, and I'll put it on some organic cereal. Uh, I, I crave that once or twice. Uh, but you guys saw I made the, the chewy chocolate chip bars last Saturday. Um, today is Monday and I've eaten most of it <laughs> already. So I'll probably finish the rest of this up today, uh, get some calories in for this bodybuilding nonsense. And, uh, and that'll be that. Uh, I'll probably have a little bit of this now and we'll finish that up. And I, I don't think I'm gonna show you guys the second meal mainly because you've already seen it. Um, in that second meal, I will still take the digestive enzymes and the antimicrobials, but all I'll do is I'll have the steak, the rice, and the snack. Um, the difference is in the first meal, I'm consuming the probiotics, the vitamin C, and sometimes in that first meal, I will also have certain vitamin and mineral supplements that I take on a weekly or you know, twice a week basis. Uh, the main difference is the first meal is usually a lot more food than the second meal because uh, it's on an empty stomach. So thank you guys for joining me today. I guess this can be our journey to the most handsome 30 year old there is. I'm getting close guys. It's only, only about another year and I'm gonna be 30 years old. So maybe that could be some type of marketing where I could say I look like I'm 20, but I'm 30. Uh, but in, in regards to like a future series, I was thinking about doing um, a road to a natural physique pro or something. 
I don't really know if I want to do it. And, you know, especially with what's going on in the world right now, it's not a good idea. But I've been sticking to this bodybuilding stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to launch my workout routine. Uh, we're going to see how that goes. And maybe we'll start like a road to a natural physique pro series where I show you guys my meals, uh, do a little training stuff and just talk and do more vlogs like these fitness influencers do that people seem to like. We'll see. You know, realistically, what that would be is probably a year long series and then I'll do like a, a natural physique show and we'll see what happens. So thank you guys for joining me today. If you could please you know, like the video, leave a comment down below, share this on social media, say, hey, that silly carnivore eight years no longer is now eating cookies and rice and whatever. Uh, you know, if, if you guys could share that, that's greatly appreciated. That's helpful. If you do want to support me further, you can check out frank where you'll also find Frankie's Free Range Meat. Uh, I'm really excited about uh, the next few months. Hopefully, uh, some of these things do pan out and we continue to provide you guys uh, with everything you need uh, to make the first steps to being happy and healthy through nutrition and lifestyle. Uh, so thanks again for joining me, guys, and I'll see you for tomorrow's video. Thank you.